Platys are popular tropical aquarium fish that are live bearers and really easy to breed. Today I'll be showing you how to tell when your platy is pregnant and when she will give birth. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I upload fish keeping content every week. I also want to mention that only 2% of you watching this are subscribed. So if you do me a favor and click the button, it would mean a lot. So without any further ado, let's get started. Telling apart their gender is fairly easy. Females will have a fanned out triangular anal fin while males will have a stick like gonopodium. You can usually tell apart their gender when they're about 2 or 3 weeks old. When a female is pregnant, she will have a much bigger belly and a darker gravid spot. She'll start eating a lot more and may become stressed. Males will continually chase her until she gives birth. You will also see her hide from other fish. These are very common signs that will occur when your female platy is about to give birth. Most of the time, platys give birth during the morning. However, they also give birth during the night and other parts of the day. Platys are live bearers, which means they give birth to live young. If you want them to breed, then keep them in a ratio of 2 females to 1 male. I do recommend at least a 10 gallon tank, but the bigger the tank, the better. The most common way to breed the platys is by putting the female in a breeder box. Keep in mind that doing so will stress out the female. The most natural way is to get the platy to give birth in the tank. If you want the platys to give birth naturally in the tank, you'll need a lot of hiding places for the fry. If you keep them in the tank, chances are higher that most of them will be eaten by other fish. If you want the most number of fry alive, then I recommend using a breeder box. A breeder box ensures that the fry will stay alive and will not be eaten by other fish. Keeping the fry in the tank also has its good benefits. For example, if you keep them in a tank, it ensures that only the strongest fry will survive as the weaker ones will be eaten by other fish. Either way, both of these two methods work pretty well. Something I don't recommend is keeping the fry in a breeder net. Breeder nets are different from breeder boxes because they're in the tank, but they're also made out of nets and there's really small holes. Sometimes when the fry are really small or just born, the fry can actually fit through the holes. One time I put three guppy fry in a breeder net and they all ended up being eaten by fish inside the tank. But as long as the fry are big enough, it should be good. Now I'm gonna give a few reasons to why your platys might not be giving birth. The first reason is because of too much stress. This can be really common because the male platy could be constantly chasing her around. This is why I recommend keeping as much hiding places as possible. If she's still being stressed out, then I would recommend moving her to a separate tank or to a breeder box. The second reason your fish is not giving birth is probably because of too high of lighting. If the lighting is too much or too high, then it may very well stress the fish. If you can't adjust the light, then try putting some big plants or some bigger hiding places that will block some of the light in order to create shade. When breeding live bears, I recommend keeping them at a temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Doing this will boost their immune system and also makes them feel like that it's summer. If you've been to lakes or ponds, you've probably noticed that most fish breed during the hotter times of the year. This is what you also need to consider when breeding your own fish. A temperature from 75 to 80 degrees will be perfect for their breeding. So to sum it up, the reasons that your platy might not be breeding is because of stress, water parameters, and the lighting. I hope this helps a bit and made it a little easier for you. Thanks again, and I will see you all in the next video.